It's surprising just how practical Optimus Gen 3 has become. Its outer shell can be swapped out on site in just a few minutes. Even more impressive, it lasts up to 10 years, slashing long-term maintenance costs. With a fully modular design, the robot stays ready to operate around the clock, even in demanding environments. So how exactly was this shell designed to deliver durability, flexibility, and mass deployment capability all at once? Before we begin, please help us reach 9,500 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Bot, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. What technology has Tesla applied to the outer shell of Optimus? One of the key factors helping Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 move closer to real-world application and large-scale production lies in its outer shell design, a component that may seem simple but plays a decisive role in durability, weight, cost, and operational safety. Unlike competitors that still rely on heavy, rigid, or expensive industrial metals, Tesla has brought advanced material technologies from the electric vehicle sector into Optimus Gen 3. Accordingly, the shell of this new generation robot is made from ultralight polymer composites, likely engineering plastics reinforced with carbon or glass fibers, allowing for flexible shaping, low weight, and high durability. Similar to the materials used in the frame and interiors of the Tesla Model Y or Cybertruck. This is particularly important considering Elon Musk's target of keeping the total weight of Optimus Gen 3 under 123 pounds, which is nearly 30% lighter than existing humanoid robots on the market, such as Figure 01 154 pounds, or Boston Dynamics Atlas 196 pounds. This marks a significant leap from the previous two generations. With Optimus Gen 1 introduced in 2023, the outer shell was purely symbolic. It was mostly made of hard plastic or foam to simulate a humanoid form. By Gen 2, introduced in late 2022, Tesla began real-world trials with the robot, and the shell was upgraded to stronger materials, such as engineering plastics or lightweight alloys. However, the design was still fairly crude, with many components manually assembled, not optimized for mass production. The shell was still relatively heavy, putting stress on joints and motors during operation, increasing energy consumption and limiting battery runtime to about one hour per charge. By the time Gen 3 debuted in early 2024, Tesla had made a major leap in both design and materials. The outer shell of Optimus Gen 3 features a seamless modular structure, with tightly integrated panels that can be easily detached individually for maintenance or replacement. The polymer composite material reduces total weight by approximately 26 to 33 pounds compared to Gen 2, while increasing impact resistance and corrosion protection. The exterior is surface treated using powder coating or industrial grade film wrapping, similar to the finishing processes applied to Tesla's electric vehicles. This gives the shell anti-smudge, anti-static, and scratch-resistant properties, ideal for industrial settings and indoor environments alike. Tesla also applies advanced manufacturing technologies to the robot shell production process to optimize speed and cost. Specifically, the panels are formed using injection molding or vacuum forming to ensure precision, reduce material waste, and shorten production time. These methods already used by Tesla for years in the EV industry are now repurposed to accelerate the commercialization of Optimus. It's estimated that a complete shell for Optimus Gen 3 can be produced in under two hours, compared to dozens of hours if built manually like many of its competitors. Additionally, Tesla's use of automated paint lines, similar to those for the Model 3 or Model Y, helps reduce surface finishing costs to only about $50 to $80 per robot, compared to $200 to $300 for manual painting. All these innovations in the outer shell bring numerous practical benefits. First, regarding weight, the new materials reduce strain on joints and actuators, allowing the robot to move more efficiently and conserve energy. For a robot operating throughout the day on a battery with a limited capacity of around 2.3 kilowatt hours, reducing just a few pounds from the shell can extend runtime by 30 to 40 minutes. Second, in terms of safety, the polymer composite shell has no sharp edges, is non-conductive, and absorbs impacts better than metal, 
making it especially suited for environments with close human interaction, such as homes, hospitals, or offices. Third, it offers aesthetic appeal and customization. The unified, glossy finish can be painted in various colors, white for healthcare, gray for industrial use, black for security, enabling Tesla to easily tailor the robot to specific uses and markets. Compared to competitors like Boston Dynamics, whose Atlas robot uses a complex heavy metal shell, or figure AI, whose design is not yet optimized for high-volume manufacturing, Optimus Gen 3 stands out for its balance of performance and scalability. A lighter shell means lower transportation and assembly costs. The modular design allows for rapid maintenance without disassembling the entire robot. The flexibility in form and surface finish gives Tesla the ability to adapt the robot's exterior for each specific version, a capability that very few robotics companies currently possess. Once again, please help us reach 9,500 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. What are the practical applications and benefits of using this type of shell? One of the key factors helping Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 move closer to real-world applications and mass production is its outer shell design, a part that may seem simple but actually determines its durability, weight, cost, and even operational safety. Unlike competitors still using heavy, rigid, or expensive industrial metals, Tesla has brought advanced materials from the electric vehicle industry into Optimus Gen 3. The outer shell of this next-generation robot is made from ultralight polymer composites, possibly engineering plastics reinforced with carbon fiber or fiberglass, allowing flexible shaping, low weight, and high durability similar to materials used in the frame and interior of Tesla's Model Y or Cybertruck. What are the economic advantages and surface finishing methods? In the race to develop humanoid robots, success depends not only on AI brains or actuation systems, but also on factors that might seem cosmetic, like the outer shell and surface finishing process, which play a critical role in cost, production speed, and market readiness, and Tesla fully recognizes this. While competitors such as Boston Dynamics, Agility, Robotics, and Figure AI concentrate on mechanics and motion, Optimus Gen 3 is designed with a philosophy that optimizes the entire supply chain from hardware to aesthetics to serve mass production. And the shell isn't just a shell. It's part of a strategy to bring the robot to a mass market price. One major difference lies in the shell manufacturing and finishing process, where most competitors still rely on powder coating or manual paint application, which are labor and time intensive. Tesla has fully automated the shell painting line using the same technology applied at its automotive plants like Giga Texas. As a result, each Optimus Gen 3 shell is fully painted in under 7 minutes, with less than 0.1 mm variation in coating thickness per layer, and the robotic painting system can adjust color, gloss, and UV protection in real time, ensuring near-perfect consistency across thousands of units. Beyond speed, Tesla has completely eliminated manual polishing, a common step among high-end robot builders like Aptronic and PAL Robotics, and instead employs a two-layer semi-self-healing coating, a flexible base layer that absorbs minor scratches covered by an outer layer that resists dust, water, and fingerprints. This technology not only keeps Optimus looking new longer, but also cuts surface finishing labor costs by 85% which is enormous when scaling to hundreds of thousands of units per year. Another distinction is that Tesla fabricates all its robot shell molds in-house using fast-turn tooling, rather than outsourcing like most competitors, enabling design iterations in days instead of weeks. For example, creating a mold for a wet environment variant of Optimus might take just 72 hours, while others could require three to five weeks, giving Tesla unmatched adaptability to market demands. On the material cost front, most rival companies still use lightweight metal shells, aluminum or alloy, or premium imported plastic injection molds that are expensive to produce, require multiple finishing steps, and are hard to recycle. In contrast, Optimus Gen 3's shell is designed for on-site recycling. Old or defective shells can be ground up and reused in future production runs, reducing raw material costs by 15 to 20 percent and aligning perfectly with high-volume manufacturing needs. Tesla also avoids permanent color finishes, 
opting for plain black or gray shells with high-grade industrial decals for customization instead of full repaints. At just $5 to $20 per decal, companies can rebrand robots quickly without retooling or voiding warranties. This is foundational to the robot-as-a-service model Elon Musk has proposed, where a single robot can change roles in hours. For instance, adapting from an Amazon warehouse shift to a hospital care assignment simply by swapping its outer panels. This level of flexibility is unmatched by competitors with monolithic shells or limited customization. Tesla also addresses environmental and depreciation concerns. Minor scratches or fading can be corrected by swapping covers rather than repainting, which saves chemicals, labor, and time, enabling cosmetic renewal in under 10 minutes at a material cost under $50 far lower than resurfacing costs at other firms. Finally, the biggest benefit of all these innovations is that Tesla can bring the shell finishing cost of Optimus below $300 per robot, while competitors typically spend $500 to $1,500 due to manual processes or expensive materials. When multiplied by a target production volume of 100,000 robots per year, this cost saving amounts to tens of millions of dollars without sacrificing quality, durability, or aesthetics. What are the practical applications and benefits of using this type of shell? Another advantage lies in the robot's ability to integrate with various industries without structural changes. The Optimus Gen 3 shell serves as a modular interface, allowing easy attachment of specialized equipment, branding, or additional sensors. For example, an airport service unit could feature a flight information display on its chest while a hotel version might be decorated with the brand's logo, LED accents, or earpiece, for communication. Because of its straightforward yet flexible design, Tesla doesn't need to redesign the robot itself for each use case, just swap shells or add peripheral components, significantly reducing both vertical deployment costs and lead times from pilot to real-world rollout. On a daily operational level, the modular shell design delivers substantial advantages in maintenance and uptime. When robots are expected to run several hours a day, such as in factories, warehouses, or hotels, minor scratches, dents, or surface damage are inevitable. Tesla accounted for this upfront by designing the shell panels for quick, tool-free replacement, eliminating the need to disassemble the entire robot. Technicians can address cosmetic damage or surface wear within minutes, without affecting internal components like motors, cameras, or control circuits. Additionally, the shell is dirt-resistant and lacks small crevices where dust can accumulate, making daily cleaning as easy as wiping with a damp cloth or using a light blow of compressed air. This significantly reduces routine maintenance time, crucial for enterprises operating dozens or hundreds of robots simultaneously. From a financial perspective, the shell design also helps Tesla optimize total cost of ownership. One of the biggest challenges facing humanoid robot makers is the high cost of post-sale maintenance, often exceeding initial purchase prices. But with easily replaceable shell panels that do not interfere with internal systems, the robot's overall lifespan can be extended dramatically. Materials experts estimate that Tesla's polymer composite shell lasts an average of 7 to 10 years under regular operation, similar to the lifespan of high-grade automotive plastic cladding. Which means even with daily operation of 8 to 10 hours, an Optimus won't need a full shell replacement for many years. Instead of shipping robots back to central factories for repairs, Tesla can offer field replacement service or ship parts to customers by mail, an after-sales business model similar to laptop or printer support, saving customers significant cost and downtime. Tesla also addresses regional market demands and cultural expectations through localized shell variants. Using a flexible production line, it can customize Optimus's appearance, such as offering friendly, bright exterior styles for Japan, minimalist and utilitarian versions for Europe, without changing core internals. This localized customization, enabled by detachable exterior panels, gives Tesla a competitive advantage in rapid global deployment. Last but not least, the modular shell becomes a foundation for scalable product diversification. With interchangeable molds and small design changes, Tesla can offer basic, mid-tier, or premium versions without overhauling the entire tooling process. For example, 
a lightweight domestic version can skip advanced finishes and cost 20 to 30 percent less than enterprise grade iterations, while a high end, water resistant, self healing nano coated version could serve medical, security, or military sectors. The robot's outer shell has become an open design platform allowing Tesla to segment offerings similar to the strategy used for Model 3, Model Y, and Model S in the electric vehicle line. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.